Hello again, everyone. Uh, Alan back once again for another of my series of deck reviews. And what I have today is a very, very beautiful deck. This is definitely one I would recommend to everybody to pick up. The, the, the amount of artwork and the time that went into this deck is just amazing. This is the Devo's Blades, uh, the Silver Edition. Uh, Silver Blades, as they're known as. And I got this deck the other day, and I was just blown away. This is uh, a definitely a phenomenal deck, and one that I would recommend to everyone to pick up. Uh, real quickly, uh, going over the box, it's got uh, this figure in the middle. Uh, kind of looks like a, maybe a medieval type of warrior. It says Devos, and kind of it's kind of hard to see. Uh, written along the top there, it says Blades. Uh, through the through the bottom here, it says playing cards, and it has a little emblem there in the corner with a nice bordering uh, around it. Uh, one thing I noticed about this box, which I thought was kind of cool, uh, one side it says handle with care. Um, no pun intended, but these are very, very sharp cards. Uh, the other side says uh, Devo's Blades, Silver Edition. And the bottom of the box has Blades First Edition uh, barcode. Uh, reveal written in the bottom. It's just, it says Blades First Edition on the bottom. Artwork by Handlords LLC. Uh, the back of the box shows what the backs of the cards look like. Uh, it's a, it's a black, black back card with a lot of silver. Uh, it's got like a, a six, a six uh, pointed star on the back. Uh, it has those same six-pointed stars in each of the corner in uh, kind of inverted colors, kind of black with the silver outline. This is the silver. A lot of very, very fine detail. That uh, same warrior-type figurine, there's one on the top, uh, one on the top, one on the bottom. And just a lot of very, very detailed, intricate artwork on the backs of these cards. Along the top of the box... It says blades on one side and has S period E period on the other side, uh, silver edition. And uh, so, and, and I also noticed about this box that it did not come with a U.S. playing card seal. Um, it does not have a seal on it, so that's how you'll get this deck. It's a it's a gorgeous box. There's no doubt about that. Uh, but the cards themselves are even more gorgeous. Uh, crack these open, take a peek. And the first thing I noticed about these uh, cards, I noticed the jokers were different. Uh, the, the cards themselves are a white face, and the jokers are black. Uh, so you probably would have a hard time uh, incorporating these jokers to any kind of card magic with the deck just because of the black. And also the backs of the cards as well are black. So you might have issues there. If you had to, to put a card in the deck face up, um, or face, you know, with the, with the deck face up, putting a face down card into it just because of the black back, it would it would stand out. So that is one area I think they could have uh, could have made that different because it's going to limit you with what you can do with the deck. But anyway, getting back to the Jokers, it's got that same uh, medieval uh, type figurine there with the helmet on, and he's got kind of a he's kind of got a sword or something in his hand in the one joker if you can see it he's uh his face is blacked out and it's very nice joker it's a beautiful beautifully done but on the other joker he's got the sword pulled his head is turned and you can see little white slits uh where his eyes are and he's got the um of course the sword coming out so you get a little bit of difference there with the two jokers of course you get uh, two of those then you get a Blades, Handlords.com card. Uh, it's blank on the back, and it's got, the, you can see the the emblem there, Blades. And then it's got this uh, kind of ninja-looking uh, type of artistry there. So and that's kind of a nice card. I don't know if you could really do anything with it, but you get that as well. Uh, the Ace of Spades on this card, uh, in this deck is kind of cool looking. It has uh, your basic spade pip, but it looks like the this creature is ripping through it. It's got uh, shows like the like it's torn, and he has this big claw coming out at you. And this line work around the top is, looks like a couple of snakes there. You can see the tongue of the snake coming out. 
Um, so it's really, it's a, it's a, it's a very clean looking ace, but then again, it's very, very detailed. It's really cool looking. I, I really like it. The, the cards themselves, uh, oh, it does come with a blank card as well. Uh, throw that out there. The blank white uh, with the regular standard blades back um, and a white card. So that's uh, a, a, just a blank card there for um, maybe an effect or two that you can do with that uh, that card. So, And I noticed the deck is, it almost has a an illusionist type of feel to it. It's really a sturdy a sturdy stock they used. Uh, the, the cards themselves are standard bicycle pips and indexes. The court cards, they've done a little bit different with, and I like this. Um, for instance, on the spades, uh, where, where the pips are black, don't know if you could see it with the camera or not, but there's a red outline around the inside pips, which is really kind of cool looking. And you see a lot of reds and blacks in these court cards. And the red court cards, you see a lot of the red pop out. And the inside pips have the black outline around them. Kind of like the uh, the white ghost deck has. Not the outside pips, just the inside pips have that outline. And it is the same with the clubs as well as the same with the hearts. You get that black outline. But the layout of the court cards is basically the same. They've just eliminated some of the color. And they've um, emphasized more on the color of uh, the blacks and the reds. Uh, for the black court cards, the black, there's a lot of black that jumps out. And in the red court cards, there's a lot of the red that jumps out. So they've kept it really clean. But by the same token, they have uh, spiced it up, I guess you could say. It is a beautiful deck right out of the box. It, it fans phenomenally. The backs of the cards are obviously gorgeous. This, it, it reminds me a lot of the, uh, you know, the Illusionist Black decks. Yeah, you know, the Artifice and, of course, the Black Arcanes, the Shadow Masters, and, and those. So it has, it's almost like an Illusionist deck. Uh, it doesn't list what the finish is on this deck. But um, if I was to guess, I'd probably say an, an air cushion kind of finish. Handles beautifully. Um, it's just a phenomenal deck. What they've done with this is just awesome. I would almost, this is almost, uh, like I said, illusionist or even Theory 11 uh, type of deck. It's definitely not your typical bicycle deck, that's for sure. This is one I definitely would recommend to anybody. It's... Uh, like I said, you may be limited on what you can do just because you have the contrasting fronts and backs. You have the black backs and, and, and of course, the white fronts. So um, that might limit what you can do as far as magic goes. But the cards themselves, just to mess around with and look at, the, the backs are some of the nicest I've seen. A lot of detail, uh, as much if not more detail of, of any deck that I've seen or reviewed. So it is definitely a deck worth picking up. It is a little more pricey than your standard decks is going to be. It's uh, even more than what your typical uh, illusionist deck will be, which you can pick up for you know anywhere from six to eight bucks for an illusionist deck. This deck is obviously a bit more than that, but I think well worth every single penny. Um, once again, once again, this is uh, by Handlords.com. That's who the artwork is by. It doesn't even say who it's distributed by on the box. It says the United States Playing Card Company, um, and once again, this does not have uh, does not have a seal on the back. So, and being from the USPCC, I'm going to assume, like I said, that this is probably an air cushion finish. Just a beautiful deck. The Jokers, I I love the Jokers. I love the way they look. Only problem is that you'd probably have a hard time integrating those into any kind of card magic. Uh, just because of the, the fact that the, the faces of the Jokers are black and the faces of the, the actual cards themselves are white. But you'd really like the outlining around the reds and in the court cards and the same with the black with the red outline. That just adds some style. It adds some character, some pizzazz to the deck. It's just, oh, this is just a gorgeous deck. Definitely, uh, I can obviously see by... The, the recent decks that I've gotten that I'm going to have to do a new top 10 because 
a lot of these decks that I just recently picked up are definitely going to be in there. So, once again, this is the Devo's Blades. This is a Silver Edition Blades playing card deck from the U.S. Playing Card Company. Uh, highly recommend picking this one up. You definitely wouldn't be disappointed. It is just an absolutely phenomenal deck. Nice, heavy stock. Beautiful artwork. Beautiful jokers. Clean, but very, very powerful uh, Ace of Spades with a lot of impact to it. I really like it. So, uh, once again, my name is Alan. You can check out my channel. Cards are fun. I appreciate you taking a look at the video. Check out my channel with uh, all kinds of other deck reviews and card trick videos and stuff like that out there. Uh, once again, I want to thank John at Ace King Cards for the deck. And I want to thank all my subscribers and all you viewers. And I wish you all a very, very wonderful day. Thank you for watching.